चैंपियन कोर्स किन के लिए है जो आई टी जी एडवांस का एग्जाम दे रहे हैं मेन्स का एग्जाम दे रहे हैं उनके लिए है ये कैसे ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं आपको यूट्यूब चैनल पे जाना है वहाँ पे ज्वाइन बटन है मेंबरशिप लेना है यूट्यूब का आप मेंबरशिप लोगे तो मैं इस चैनल इस कोर्स को ज्वाइन कर सकते हो इसमें आपको पूरा कोर्स करवाया जाएगा आपका लाइव डिस्कशन होगा डीपी दी जाएगी यानी पूरे ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री की कोर्स की गारंटी अच्छे से करवानी आपको सिखाने की मेरी होगी तो आप ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं यूट्यूब के मेम्बरशिप प्रोग्राम के थ्रू ज्वाइन बटन पर क्लिक नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन ऑफ टेस्ट फॉर अनसेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन मीन्स टेस्ट फॉर एल्किन एंड एल्काइन नाउ दिस बी आर टू एक्व सोल्यूशन ऑफ बी आर टू इज यूज टू डिफ्रेंशिएट सेचुरेटेड एल्किन एंड अनसेचुरेटेड एल्किन एल्किन एंड एल्काइन मीन्स वॉट हैपन इफ देर इज ए प्रेजेंस ऑफ एल्किन सपोज दिस इज ए लिक्विड लिक्विड फॉर्म एल्किन दिस इज ए प्रेजेंस ऑफ एल्किन वेन बी पोर दिस एक्व सोल्यूशन ऑफ बी आर टू सोल्यूशन इन दिस नाउ इनिशियली दिस इज द कलर एंड इफ यू सेक द सोल्यूशन वी गेट कलरलेस तो इफ बी आर टू सोल्यूशन बिकम कलर टू कलरलेस मीन्स डी कलराइजेशन ऑफ बी आर टू इट इज ए टेस्ट फॉर अनसेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन इफ द कलर रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट अक्रॉस द रिएक्शन दिस मीन्स इट इज ए नेगेटिव टेस्ट नाउ वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पॉजिटिव टेस्ट डी कलराइजेशन ऑफ बी आर टू दिस बी आर टू डी कलराइज टू दिस दिस मीन्स एल्किन एंड एल्काइन इज कन्फर्म नाउ आई कैन एक्सप्लेन सेम थिंग आई कैन एक्सप्लेन बाय अनदर इमेज Suppose we have a bromine water, aqueous solution of bromine water. It is the initial solution present in the test tube. Now we have to test the alkene. If we poured alkene in this test tube, this become colorless. Now this color to colorless means decolorization of Br2 means test for unsaturation means it is a positive test. Now now when will be the positive test? If there is a presence of alkene and alkyne. If there is a alkene, then it is a negative test. Now, one more picture is there. This is bromine water solution. Now, initially we have a chem uh, sample was there, chemical sample was there. If I put drop by drop Br2 solution in this, drop by drop Br2 solution in this, and if the color remain the color of the Br2, this means it is a saturated compound. This means it is a negative test. This means there is a no double bond. No double bond, negative test because of saturated hydrocarbon. Now, if there is a decolorization. If we put drop by drop Br2 in this in test tube and we get this colorless solution, this means decolorization of Br2. This means it is an unsaturated hydrocarbon. It has a double bond. Means it is a positive test and it is negative test. Got it? Now, first of all, I will explain you how what is the exact reaction. Then we will write the mechanism. Then we will write the characteristic and we will do some basic practice. So let's start with the reaction. Now let's start with the actual reaction. When alkene react with Br2 in presence of CCl4, it is known as halogenation of alkene. Means addition of halogen on alkene. When alkene react with Br2 in presence of CCl4, there is a formation of two product. This trans plus its mirror image. So what is the relation between these two? these two are enantiomer means these two are racemic mixture got it two enantiomer will form racemic mixture will form now this reaction is an addition reaction so first of all pause the video and write the reaction now before proceeding with the mechanism what happen if cyclohexane react with br2 ccl4 cyclohexane br2 ccl4 is no reaction because br2 ccl4 is basically indicate addition reactions mainly used for addition reactions now alkene will not undergo addition reaction because of absence of pi bond for addition there must be a pi bond there must be alkene there must be alkyne this means no reaction if we use sunlight if ccl4 is replaced by sunlight then there is a substitution reaction this is known as free radical substitution reaction 
Now, similarly, if benzene react with Br2CCl4, no reaction. Why? Why no reaction? Because benzene will not undergo addition reaction. Now, if benzene react with Br2 in presence of Lewis acid, Fe or FeBr3, means there is a Lewis acid. Now, this Lewis acid react with Br2 to generate electrophile then there is a electrophilic aromatic substitution. Electrophilic aromatic substitution. Now, what I want to explain, my aim is to explain you that, that Br2 will react with alkane, but condition will be different. Now, what would be the condition? The condition will be presence of sunlight. Br2 can react with benzene, but condition will be different. Now, what is the condition? The condition must be presence of Lewis acid. Since the Lewis acid generate electrophile and once the electrophile will generate, it react with benzene to undergo electrophilic aromatic substitution. Got it? For benzene, we must need Lewis acid to generate electrophile. For alkane, we need sunlight. And for alkene and alkyne, Br2CCl4 directly undergo addition reaction. So, first of all, write this both example in your class notes. Now, this is a special example. Since cyclopropane strain ring, the cyclopropane has highest strain ring among the cyclic alkane. This means this is a weaker bond. This is a weak bond, weaker bond. Now, what happened in case of weaker bond? Since it is a weaker bond, when Br2 react with this, there is an addition reaction. This bond behaves similar to alkene, just like a alkene. When we add Br2 to alkene and undergo addition reaction, you, you must remember that cyclopropane sigma bond is similar to pi bond. The strength is similar to pi bond, therefore it undergo addition reaction. And it is an exception of cyclic alkene. Now, similarly, if I use HBr, there is the addition of HBr. So, write this exception in your class notes. Now, before, before I would explain, I will explain you mechanism how Br2 react with alkene. One more concept is there, why Br2 is electrophile and ethane is not an electrophile. You should know why Br2 is a good electrophile while ethane is not electrophile. Br2 is a electrophile. For electrophile, what is the condition for electrophile? Electrophile must have vacant orbital of low energy level. Electrophile must have vacant orbital of low energy level, then we can call it electrophile. Now, in case of Br2, Because of this lone pair, lone pair repulsion and bigger size, it is a weaker bond. Now, what happened with weaker bond? If there is a weaker bond, this means the bonding and anti-bonding energy difference is less. The, whenever bond formation takes place, if bond is weak, then bonding and anti-bonding energy difference is less. If bond is strong, then bonding and anti-bonding energy difference is more. Now, in case of weaker bond, bonding and anti bonding energy difference is less this means it has a vacant anti bonding vacant sigma star got it it is a vacant sigma star means vacant anti bonding now in case of ethane it is a strong bond now what happened with strong bond Strong bond means high energy level antibonding. High energy level antibonding. So what I would, uh, what I will explain you. 
basically it is a weaker bond therefore vacant antibonding means nucleophile can attack on vacant antibonding of br2 if there is a presence of nucleophile this will attack on vacant antibonding of br2 so write in your notes and remember it well because we use br2 in many different chapter br2 react with phenol it react with alkene alkyne so br2 is a good electrophile Got it? Now, one more concept you should know before we are, uh, we are going, I am going to explain you the mechanism. There are two type of carbocation. One is classical carbocation. This is known as classical carbocation. And if this lone pair attack on this bond, this is a non-classical carbocation. Now, this non-classical carbocation is more stable. Why it is more stable? First of all, it is resonance stabilized. This positive charge is delocalized among carbon and bromine. Therefore, it is a resonance stabilized. Second one is complete octate. With respect to this, it has more complete octet because lone pair attack on carbocation, octet start filling, complete octet. And from this to this, there is a bond, sigma bond formation. If this is sigma bond formation, means this is an exothermic step. Because of sigma bond formation, this is an exothermic step. This means it will be formed at low energy level. Low energy level means it is more stable. Now, when will non if we have an option, either we go through classical carbocation mechanism or non-classical cation mechanism, which, which type of mechanism we will prefer? We will prefer non-classical cation because it is more stable. Similarly, if there is a presence of, let us suppose NO is there, there is lone pair, it can convert into non-classical. For example, sulfur is there. It will convert into non-classical. For example, H is there. It will not convert into non-classical. Now, what type of electrophile will undergo non-classical cation mechanism and what type of electrophile undergo classical cation mechanism? The electrophile must, has, must have lone pair, just like a Br, just like a ET, if there is a presence of lone pair in electrophile, then the mechanism, preferred mechanism will be non-classical carbocation. So write in on notes, non-classical carbocation are more stable than classical cation. Non-classical cation are more stable than classical carbocation. Got it? Now we will proceed with mechanism. First of all, we have alkene. And what is the role of alkene? Alkene is a nucleophile. Second, Br2 is a electrophile. Why Br2 is a electrophile? Br2 is an electrophile because it has vacant antibonding. This is vacant sigma star antibonding. Now, what is the first step? This alkene attack on vacant antibonding Br2 and this bond will break. Attack of alkene on Br2 and bond will break. Br2 is a electrophile. We already discussed this, why Br2 is an electrophile. Now, what type of mechanism will be? It is a classical mechanism or non-classical mechanism. Since Br has lone pair, the mechanism will be non-classical carbocation, cyclic bromonium ion. And this step is the RDS. You got this point? Since Br2 is an electrophile, alkene is planar. Br2 will attack below the plane. There is a formation of cyclic bromonium ion. Now, what happened in next step? 
this bromonium ion this br minus will attack back side to this cyclic bromonium again there is a vacant antibonding so this br minus will attack back side it is a back side attack when there is a back side attack why back side because the vacant antibonding is back side to this carbon this means one bromine we can place here and this bromine is below the plane now what type of addition it is it is syn addition or anti addition now what is the meaning of syn addition addition of two group from same side what is the meaning of anti addition one group add from below the plane another group add from above the plane below and above the plane this means it is a anti addition similarly i can attack on this carbon if i attack on left hand side carbon then i will get this product now i have to check whether they are identical in enantiomer or diastereomer this means we have to check now there is absence of symmetry in this molecule and this is mirror image of this the so first and second are mirror image and there is no symmetry this means what is the relation between these two these two are enantiomer means racemic mixture will form got it and what is the overall type of addition it is a type of addition is anti addition we already discussed anti means opposite side addition syn addition anti addition anti syn first of all write the mechanism in your class notes got it now let's move ahead now draw the product i will explain you one example then you have to do try your own remaining example you have to try your own now in second example we know it is a anti addition this means i have two options to draw the product which two option in the upper carbon br on wedge lower carbon br on dash and what about the second option upper carbon br on dash and lower br on wedge now i have to check whether they are identical or not these two are mirror image of each other this means two are racemic mixture these two are racemic mixture now similarly try these examples and it would be better if you write the mechanism of example third in example third you have to write the complete mechanism and after example third you can do directly you can directly how to do directly the concept which i explained in the example second just anti addition put the br above the plane below the plane b above the plane below the plane and then check what is the relation between these two product formed now in third what is your answer it is a anti addition br wedge br dash br dash br wedge it is a anti addition what is the product it is a racemic now in fourth example wedge dash dash and wedge what is the relation since one carbon center is fixed 
and another is a new car center. The relation is di stereomers. What about fifth? It is an anti addition. Wedge dash. This is dash and wedge. So, relation between these two is again, this is mirror image of this and absence of symmetry and mirror image, this means they are in instruments. Now, try this example. Pause the video and try these examples. Now, in example 6, if we use BR2, This is the product. Since there is no car center, so only one product will form. If there is a formation of car center, then enantiomer and diastomer may be the product. But in this case, there is an absence of car center. So either we place BR, BR here, or we can interchange BR, BR from BR here, BR here. They remain identical because there is no car center. In example 7, only one product because no car center is there. In example 8, alkyne, this trash will form. How many product will form? Only one product and it is our trash product. Got it? No. First of all, check the answers. Now, write this characteristic. What type of reaction this is? Br2 is an electrophile. It attack on alkene. This means it is an electrophilic addition reaction. Got it? Electrophilic addition reaction. What is the RDS? RDS is formation of non-classical carbocation. First step is the RDS. Third, this is also known as test for unsaturated hydrocarbon. And we can test alkene, alkene and alkyne by using Br2. Decolorization of Br2 is a test for alkene and alkyne. What type of addition? It is an anti addition, backside addition, anti addition. Now, in example fifth, what is the rate of halogenation? This is the order to explain rate of halogenation. Now, how we will determine rate of halogenation? Rate depends upon the RDS. And what is the RDS? RDS is formation of non classical cation. And we can also say that, that alkene is nucleophile. Since alkene is nucleophile, more donating group, more nucleophilic. Which is more nucleophilic alkene? This one. Which is more nucleophilic alkene? This one or this one. More the electron donating group, more is the nucleophilic nature. Means I can say that plus M plus H plus I is directly proportional to nucleophilic nature of alkene. plus m plus s plus i directly proportional to nucleophilic nature of alkene. Got it? Now, this is most nucleophilic and last one is a least nucleophilic because of this minus i group, minus m group. I can explain this rate of halogenation by one more method. One more method is that since we attack Br2 and alkene, there is a formation of non-classical carbocation. This non-classical cation will formed in RDS. Now, more the stable cation, more will be the rate of reaction. Means more the stable cation formed, more is the rate of reaction. Now, if this alkene react with Br2, this non-classical cation will form. What is the degree of this carbon? This is 3 degree, 
and this is 3 degree. Similarly, if you attack, if I attack Br2 on this alkene, there is a formation of 3 degree cation and 1 degree cation. Now, which one is more stable? Since 3 degree is more stable, this is more stable intermediate, this means more reactive toward Br2. Now, similarly in this example, if there is a formation of non-classical carbocation bromonium ion, 2 degree cation will form and 1 degree cation will form. Now, since 2 degree, 1 degree are unstable than 3 degree, this means the rate of reaction of this is greater than this. So, we can say that if there is a formation of 3 degree cation, it is more reactive, 2 degree cation less reactive, 1 degree cation less reactive. Got it? It is better to draw non-classical cation of all these alkene and just write the degree of carbocation formed in the RDS. Got it? Now, it is a movie time. I will show you one movie clip. In this movie clip, you have to understand how anti addition is related to that movie clip. Means, I want to explain this anti addition using that movie clip. Got it? So, just watch the movie and try the quiz, best of luck for quiz, and relate the movie with the anti addition. Thank you.
forms a miso state. Forms a miso state. And this challenger with animation so bright shows how unsaturated compounds turn bromine water white. With with bromine forms a miso state.